across the eclipse. What was it looking for up in the sky? No! You deserve a treat! maybe who knows <laughs> welcome home how did you Yule did you come through the gate too the one you met was a different Yule. A Yule from the future. What? Huh. So, you don't know me either? I know about you. I've been watching you both. You can see the future, can't you? I can trace the timeline. I see the future and lead others along the correct path. I came here to confirm something I already know. You and I are the same. What do you mean? You too can show others the way. Wait. I don't get it. How are we the same? Looks like Yule lives in this time, too. No, are you okay? Yeah, it was just so... unexpected. Threw me for a loop. She said I was the same as her. I wonder what she meant by that. She also said you can show others the way. It sounded like I'm supposed to do something. Like a mission or a destiny. Maybe your job is to... show us the true timeline. You mean like what I'm doing now? Changing the future and all that? We journeyed through time. Solved the paradox. And met two girls who looked exactly the same. And now, at last... We found our way back to Hope's Oracle Drive. He'll be waiting for us. Or perhaps he won't. Maybe after all this time, Hope has forgotten us. I was afraid of what would happen if no one was here. I guess the ruins were interesting enough. They didn't need the paradox to draw them here. Alyssa was summoned, too. I hope my baby's okay without me. It doesn't look like a paradox appeared or anything. Director, who are you waiting for? I don't know. <laughs> but I think they'll be here soon. In a world where the paradox was solved, the eclipse never darkened the sky in the first place. No one remembered that Noel and I had been here. But, even so, Hope was there, waiting for us. Of course, his memories had changed. We had our ten-year reunion all over again, as if our last meeting had never happened. When we explained his memories had changed because the paradox had been dissolved, Hope believed us without question. And then... 
I have something I want to show you. This is a recording of the future. We're unable to identify the location or circumstances. There is one thing we're sure about, however. And remember, we don't know what era this is. Lightning is alive in that place. In my memory, Lightning disappeared after the battle with Orphan. But she's living somewhere in the future. So it's not just a dream, is it? She's out there. Then... I'm going to find her. Koopa Koopa? And you will find her, Sarah. After all, you traveled through time and found me. <laughs> Many years of research have finally borne fruit. It all began with the Oracle Drive. We excavated it from ruins many centuries old. Yet it recorded an image of Cocoon, supported on a pillar of crystal. It was an impossibility. An enigma. Impossible, but a reality nonetheless. This is when I learned what I must do. Cool if it was possible to journey through time and look into the future, then it must also be possible to travel backwards and change the past. Right. I wanted to change history, make things better. Not just bring lightning back, but Vanille and Fang and my mother. So that's what your research was about. <laughs> Chasing the impossible, you might say. But you've made me realize something. It's clear to me now we are not the only ones who are intervening in history. Oh? The past has already been changed. Mm. Sarah. You were the only one who remembers a time when Lightning survived the fall of Cocoon. Yeah? Director! necessarily rewritten. It could be the original prophecy restored as it once was. Perhaps a continuation of the first recording. If this is showing us the future, then someday Cocoon will fall. No, you told me in your time Cocoon didn't exist like it does now. Yeah, it came to ground long before I was born. After it happened, the whole world just fell apart pretty much. But who made it fall? Could it have been Caius? No. He couldn't do that. When is Cocoon supposed to fall? How many years? Is it soon? No. Not for a couple of centuries. Oh, that's a long time from now. I mean, none of us will even be alive to see it. <sighs> but others will. <laughs> Cocoon will fall into Grand Pulse. Imagine the catastrophe. Think how many lives will be destroyed. Right. That's the future I lived in. It doesn't have to happen. No, we can change the future. We can stop Cocoon from falling and make your world a better place. Yeah, but how? You think you can go to the time when it falls and hold it up yourselves? Do you even have a gate to take you there? Well, we... It might not be necessary to travel to the specific time and place. How so? The future depends on what we do now, right? Yes, there is a chance Cocoon will fall, but we can start working now to prevent it from happening. Right. But what if you can't, Hope? We can at least work to mitigate the damage. If we begin our research now, we have time. 
Then, should Cocoon indeed fall, we can help protect the planet and save the victims. Okay, let's do it. We could try to solve things at the other end in the future. Papa? While you start preparing in the here and now. Yes, let's change the future. If you change the future... If you change the future, you change the past. Sarah? It's nothing. Hope, thank you for the help. Time will separate us, but we'll share a common goal. Hmm. Hope dreamed of changing the past. The weight of history drove him forward. But now, he's turning to face the future. A future even more frightening than the past. Sarah, do you believe too? Do you believe in your own past? Lightning was fighting in Valhalla. That's where I met her. And that's when she told me to come and find Sarah. I see. Valhalla, otherwise known as the Unseen World. I think Lightning wants us to fix the timeline. Put it back how it was. Maybe that's why she gave me the power to travel through time and control monsters. She was unable to do anything on her own, so she turned to the one person she trusted more than anyone. Yes, it is possible, although the idea raises even more questions. What do we have to do to find lightning? Solve the paradoxes, correct the timeline. Restore history as it should have been. Then you will find Lightning alive. Of that, I'm sure. In that history, does Cocoon stay in the sky? No. You were born into a different future. In our world, in our future, Cocoon survives. When the paradoxes are eliminated, Cocoon remains safe in the sky. You're saying I was born into a future created by the warping of a timeline? Yes. I believe so. My task is to save Cocoon. And we have to travel across time to protect the future. If we succeed, you'll be reunited with Lightning. I guess we know what we have to do. It seems unbelievable the Crystal Pillar could become so fragile. It was weakened, little by little, over many centuries. The war was simply the straw that broke Cocoon's back. But what does Caius want? Yeah. 